I'm Katie and welcome to my studio where I'm creating the ball jointed dolls and share the process here on YouTube. In the last videos I've been sharing mostly the post-production stage like blushing and sewing, but today I'm back with the resin cast. A small disclaimer in the start of the process that I am sharing with you is the combination of the smooth-on tutorials and other artist casting processes that I found here on YouTube and internet. I start from cleaning and checking the silicon molds. It takes some time to go through all the molds as this doll has a lot of parts. I should say it's quite meditating and it's important to clean the parts from the inside and outside and I find it best to use the compressed air. And I'm using the same compressor I use when put the molds under the pressure. To hold the mold together, I am using the simple rubbers from the stationery store. You see that there's a lot of them, cause I always afraid that the mold will be not secure and the resin will pour out, or it will cause the bubbles inside the doll part when curing. I'm using the smooth cut 305 for casting. The proportion for this resin is 1 to 1 in value but 100 to 90 in weight. I used the weight proportion because I calculated the almost exact quantity of the material after several casts and I don't want to waste the resin. Well, of course, I put a bit more that I will need, but every time the same quantity, also because I am using the toner and I want to achieve the same color of the doll as from previous castings. Hide both the sun devil and the toner in a component B. I prefer using the syringe to put the resin inside the molds, because it's very easy to use and also helps to decrease the bubbles in the molds. As you can see, I am not using the middle, instead I use the plastic tube because of the material density. The most intense moment for me is when mixing two components, because after that I have only 7 minutes to pour all the material and put the molds in the pressure pot and turn on the compressor. 
Well, there's uh, different resins and maybe next time I will use one with much longer killing time, but I actually like that after approximately an hour I will have fully cured details. I divide the process of pouring into two or three parts and I should say the three parts you know, will be easier and less stressful to cure, but I decided that this time I want to do custom fasting. After pouring, I quickly place the molds into the pressure pot for about 30 minutes and just wait. I open the molds only after an hour or later because my details are small and the curing time could be bigger than 40 minutes as it's written in documentation. Interesting fact is that the resin is actually heating while curing and you can feel it very well on the big details. Removing the parts from the molds is pretty meditating. And I am also a bit nervous during this process because the results might not be very good and some of the parts could be with bubbles, but I always hope for the best.
actually in the end almost every detail turned out to be okay and I have the polishing stage ahead but it's the other story and for now it's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications not to miss the next videos. I am going to finish the current doll outfit and I also prepare something a bit new to share, so stay tuned, bye!